before we continue with the rest of the video, we could use your help. Click the like button to help spread word about Watch Jojo Animals, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. A bystander saw this officer lying prone with his horse, and the story behind the photo is tragic. A citizen was walking around downtown Houston, Texas, when something stopped them in their tracks. There on the road was a police officer lying face down with his horse. However, this passerby had no idea just how heartbreaking their story was. Law enforcement agencies have used horses for hundreds of years, and while mounted patrol units are one of the police department's oldest tools, they are still one of the most effective. That's because officers on horseback have a unique advantage to their peers. On a horse, cops have extra height, enabling them to see further than if they were on foot. This is particularly handy in crowded areas, where it's also easy for members of the public to see officers. Furthermore, cops can use horses to patrol places where police cars wouldn't be suitable, like parks and nature reserves. However, in the 20th century, police forces in the US began to disband their mounted units. Look at the situations they're used for, criminologist Mitchell Roth explained to KPCC in 2014. How often do you have riots? If you're going to keep a mounted police unit for riots, you might use them once a year. But in 1984, Houston Police Department bucked this trend and re-established their mounted patrol unit. According to the department's website, one mounted officer is as effective as around 10 on the ground. As a result, they valued their horses and the cops who rode them. In turn, mounted officers and their horses have a strong bond. That's because they have to rely on each other, often in the most heated situations. As a result, some say the relationship is akin to that which cops in the canine unit have with their dogs. Talking to Today in 2015, Kesey Smith, spokesman for the Houston Police Department, revealed, you undergo a lot of training as a mounted police officer. You work with those horses on a daily basis. Those horses undergo a lot of training before they're put on the street, so there would be a bond. Those horses are those officers' partners. One person who perfectly understood this bond was Officer D. Herringen. He and his six-year-old horse, Charlotte, were the closest of colleagues. Together, they managed to keep the streets of Houston safe from crime. Though relatively young, Charlotte had a wealth of experience as a police horse. In fact, she came into law enforcement so early that no one had even ridden her before, and by 2015 she had been working with the Mounted Patrol Unit for four years. However, despite her experience, things could still spook Charlotte, which is exactly what happened one day in December of that year. She and Herringen had been patrolling downtown Houston when the horse heard a noise. The noise panicked Charlotte, caused her to act erratically. The horse got spooked by something from behind, police spokesperson Smith informed people in 2015. And when she spun around, she actually struck a cement truck. In the mayhem, Charlotte threw Herringen from her back. Consequently, he was rushed to hospital as a precaution so that he could get checked out. Thankfully, though, doctors later confirmed he had no major injuries. But sadly, the same could not be said for Charlotte. In the accident, the horse had sustained a broken leg. As a result, veterinary staff took the hard decision to put the brave animal to rest at the accident scene. In Herringen's absence, his partner decided he would have to step up to the plate. So Officer Ronald Curry laid down on his front beside the horse. From there, he tried to comfort the animal by covering her face as she took her dying breaths. The cop's act of compassion moved one onlooker so much that he decided to take a photograph of the touching scene. Later, the stranger shared the haunting image with the Animal Justice League. Moreover, the Houston-based Animal Rescue consequently decided to share the picture with its nearly 9,000 Facebook followers. We admire the heart and strength of this officer, the post read. When you lose an animal, to be with them during their last breath is a heartbreaking and tough thing to do. Our hearts go out to both officers and the Houston Police Department family. R.I.P. Charlotte. Perhaps unsurprisingly, it didn't take long for the tear-jerking image to go viral, and it has since attracted an impressive 28,000 reactions. Furthermore, Officer Curry found himself the subject of much praise. Thank you, officer, for loving and staying with your partner, one comment read. Our police officers are incredibly honourable people, always. Meanwhile, another user added, This story brought me to tears for the horse and his rider. 
The officer's attempts at comforting his fallen companion made me know there's heartfelt caring in this world of troubles. Meanwhile, the Houston Police Department also used Facebook to share its very own tribute to Charlotte. She passed her evaluation period with flying colours and was working the streets of downtown Houston within a short time of being started under saddle, the post read. She loved her job and was always ready to go to work putting bad guys in jail or giving nuzzles to children. It's fair to say Charlotte's death rocked the entire police department. Indeed, the force has since immortalised the horse in a portrait that will adorn the walls of Houston's Police Officer Union building. So while she may be gone, Charlotte stands no chance of being forgotten. Please do not forget to share this video with your friends below. Please do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell to receive everything that is new.